Hey everyone, it's Prashant. I created a GPT, which is a generative AI app uh, to help product managers write product definition documents. And I did it by writing plain English without writing any code. So let's see how it works. This is the GPT. It's called Product Draftsmith. It crafts product definition documents for product managers. I'm going to show it to you in the edit mode so that I can show you my instructions to create the GPT. So this is what I did. I gave it a name, I, uh, I gave it a description, and then I turned my product definition document methodology, which I, ha I created over the past 15 years, into a prompt. I said that this GPT is a product management assistant um, who has written several product definition documents and it will support product managers or coach product managers to write a, write a product definition document. And then I turned my methodology into a prompt here. Let's see, and I also did a couple of other things. I gave the GPT a sample product definition document which was written using my methodology and I also gave it an article about the jobs to be done framework. Let's see how it works. There is only one option so I start by saying write a product definition document and um, it will then walk me through the process step by step like a coach would and help me write an effective product definition document. The first thing it will ask me is, uh, can you describe the core functional job the user is trying to accomplish? So I've written it down, written these things down here. So I'm going to say, attach pictures to an SMS. So that is my, that is my core functionality. And I'm being very brief on purpose. And uh, then the logical next thing it should ask for is the persona because it is important for product managers to understand and empathize with the persona. Let's see what it does. Yeah, it's asking me for the persona. I will say, I've written it down here. This is a user who wants to send a picture to a customer service agent. For example, a busy mother who wants to send a picture of a leaky faucet to a to a property manager. So I'm going to provide that here. Let's see what it does. It should ideally describe the persona, most likely describe the pain point or the motivation of the persona, and maybe even create an image of the persona to increase empathy for the persona among all the developers, product managers, and designers. Uh, for creating the image, it is using the DAL E image generation capability. And one of the advantages of the image creation capability is that you don't have to search stock images for an image. You don't have to buy it. Normally it takes $10, $20 to buy the image if you want to use it publicly. Uh, and, and even then it may not, may not suit your needs accurately. Whereas here, the prompt will create an image that is very accurate to what you need. So here it, it has taken the prompt saying that uh, this person is a mother, uh, you know, she has a leaky faucet and she's a busy person who needs to get, get, get her job done pretty quickly. So, and then it asked me, what is the value they will get using this capability? And naturally, you know, if you send a picture, you don't have to talk or explain more. So I'm going to say faster problem resolution is the value for this person. It's not just the fact that she can attach, attach an image. What she really wants is faster problem resolution. And uh, it, 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 it is then forcing me to think through that. Um, well, you can think of the GPT as a, a machine version of me. This is how I would, I would coach a product manager who needs to write a product definition document. And then it is asking me for keywords. Now this is interesting because usually I have to write a very elaborate keywords. Um, and uh, 
I'm going to say help me help me describe them and I'm also going to say keep it to keep it to two sentences or less you know so that I don't have to um, so that it doesn't have it, it doesn't become too big uh, normally a product manager will have to write these descriptions where and but because GPT can now browse the web it is able to understand what Twilio is uh, and because it has general knowledge it is able to understand uh, what SMS is and uh, what MMS is uh, I'll, I'll say um, let's go to the next step okay and then the logical next step should be uh, most likely maybe the use cases or the user stories um, yeah it's asking me to write the user stories and uh, it should give me an example as well and it's 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 also you know this is like just in time just enough learning even if i don't have not written a user story before it's actually giving me the format you know as a user i want an action so that i get a benefit and it's also saying giving me the actual example as a busy mother i want to quickly send a picture of a household issue via sms to the customer service of my property management company so that i can effectively communicate the problem without needing a lengthy explanation that's actually remarkably accurate right so i'm saying the agent uh, should also uh, be able to send uh, a picture uh, with the sms and i'm not saying that's my second use case but it should ideally understand that that's what i mean and um, so it should it's it's doing that and then it'll ask me for most likely for assumptions risks and limitations and i'm going to say the assumptions risks and risks assumptions assumptions and risks and limitations are pdf and jpeg attachment only and uh, 25 MB limit. I'm not saying anything more, just, just cryptic, uh, as, as if I'm telling a colleague, and it should understand. And then finally, it'll ask me for the people who helped me with this. I mean, this is something that's important. It's uh, nobody writes a PDD alone. There is always people involved. Uh, so it's prompting me to say, acknowledge the people who helped you with this and who may be the co-authors and i i expl i told told them told the told the gpt that you know these are the folks who helped and then now it's going to write the full pdd um that's it it took us uh, what about maybe 10 minutes and uh, to write a pretty not only to write the pdd but also to understand the concepts and write it pretty um you know write it write it pretty pretty well yeah so i'm going to say please please show me the full version pdd now okay So let's see if the quality of the PDD, the purpose of the document, that's important. Um, keywords, it explains the keywords. In this case, it's actually not explaining the keywords. Uh, I can I can ask it to explain the keywords later using a prompt. It's writing the executive summary, which is uh, the three parts, jobs to be done, value for the customer, and the solution, the proposed solution. Um, and then it should explain the user journey and the user stories. The user journey, it is explaining in, in, in plain English uh, and a designer or a product manager should be able to turn this into a diagram. ChatGPT is not yet there to create a vector diagram very well. Probably a few months, maybe a few years before it gets better at that. And then it's writing the use cases and then assumptions, risks and limitations and uh, authors and contributors and then success metrics and most likely it will suggest the next um, next steps as well you know it's I didn't, even though i didn't ask it to do it it's talking about external de dependencies 
roll out provisioning and configuration and uh, and so on and it says it's a foundation document and then you, you can use this as a discussion artifact and continue to continue to build on top of it not bad for a first gpt i think it's going to change the way we develop software and design software hope that helps